Hello, um, let's see what can we do with this image in a few minutes. Um, I already ran the action, I use the strong version and all I'm going to do is start painting in different layer mask just using a white brush. Uh, I will not going to use anything else uh, except regular brushes um, and I will be walking through the different layer masks and just painting and that's all. Um, when I finish the work maybe, I don't know, I will take a look and I will see if we need to run another actions and if we need to um, we will use different actions from this same set um, so you will be able to see how it works. And as you can see, all I'm doing is painting in the first layer mask and I'm working around 40% opacity. Um, my recommendation is try to um, use low flow and low opacity. And for me, I'm pushing a little too hard opacity and especially the flow. Uh, if you use a lower opacity, you will have more control um, of the intensity of the painting. This is only the first uh, layer mask and we will try to get the result we need <coughs> working in the different masks. I will only do focus in the face, I will not go going to extend the retouch to the arms or the rest of the image. The purpose of this video is showing you things you can do with this new action set. Um, if you are working pretty close to eyelashes, maybe you want to decrease the size and increase the hardness of the brush so you can be more accurate when you are painting. Um, do not affect the lashes. Okay. Of course, we can use uh, for, for example, this or this. Um, isolated white dot one spot healing brush I think it could be a good idea but most of the flakes are gone and looks pretty good we will keep working don't worry but let's take a look to this before and after again I only use one of the actions, I will go straight to the blemish bone and I will paint to make these transitions more even. The opacity maybe is too much. I want to reduce a little more the reds and I will use one of the new red actions in this set. Maybe I should paint a little more in the first layer. Of course you can keep working in the layers, you can paint with white or black uh, in case you feel you need to. I will use the recover shape. to bring back more of the natural shadows and darkening in lips and wrong nose. Uh, I will use the brush shadow and light shadow. Now I will use just one spot healing brush 
to remove this from eyebrows I don't want to mess a lot with the eyebrows and of course we can if we feel or we see different things we can work with this and now I will use the new red fixer I want to preserve some reds in the cheeks We are here, so let's paint in here, and that's all. And I want to preserve a little more of this, and let's decrease a portion of this redness also in here. And let's take a look to a before and after. Maybe I should work a little more with the light brush and the shadow brush. much and let's use a shadow brush to increase a little more As you can see, you can go back and reselect layers and keep working. You don't need to flatten anything. You can keep working. Let's group everything together. I don't know how long it takes. I think it was around five, six, seven minutes maybe. And if you want to bring more um, detail you can use the accent details and if you want to get something more creamy you also can do it you can use the blemish balm as well it's up to you I will use the increased details to have more skin texture or more texture also I would rather to before run the accent detail, decrease the overall opacity of this main group to recover some imperfections and get a natural aspect or look. In any case, this is a quick video so you can um, take a look of how this works. Maybe we can add more light to the forehead something around here and that's pretty much all uh, okay um, I did record this video because you asked me how was the process or how long how long it takes so here it's a good approach of how these actions works in real life uh, thank you very much and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.